Hey YouTube, this is Double Six Airsoft with a new review. I know it's been a while since my last video, but we I guess you guys can forgive me for that one. Well, I guess for this review, I will go from the uh, from the stock to the barrel. Starting off with this web with the rifle, it comes with a very nice and very useful adjustable uh, butt piece and cheek rest. Cheek rest is it's easy to adjust it. Turn a little, uh, open up the big wheel to make it go out or in more, and make it and turn the small wheel to make smaller adjustments. Allen key to adjust that. The grip, um, wait, actually, first to go over, I, as you can notice, I've added a nice woodland, um, cam camo to it, more of a tiger design. I based it off the Call of Duty series tiger camo, but just chose to use woodland instead. The grip is ergonomical. It, is, it has a, it has kind of a, te a nice texture to it. Most of the weapon is plastic, except for this piece, this butt piece, and the main upper assembly and scope and bolt and trigger. And then we get on to the bolt. First off, the safety. The safety is easy to change. Red, you're dead. Black, you're not. You simply pull back the bolt, push it forward, down, and you can pull the trigger. It's a bit of a difficult bolt, but it adds an L96 bolt. It is a very powerful rifle as well. Right now, I ha with a .28 gram BB, I have it shooting around 450 FPS. It can go up to around f close to 500 FPS, but I prefer not to. Uh, the scope is a 9x40 scope, uh, scope. Right now I have it adjusted for my personal use. The magazine is a standard L96 magazine, spring-loaded. You simply push it in. One key thing, you'll notice this little tiny tab on the back of the magazine. That will get worn down over time and will need to be this ma and your magazines will need to be replaced. The, and will be worn down after using after reloading the boat several times, which doesn't seem like too many. Anyways, there are sling mounts located at the rear and front of the lower receiver and main body. Next, we get on to the RAF system up here. The RAF system is on the sides and bottom. It can be removed like so. Just simply press the button on the bottom. The bipod that comes with this weapon, I do not recommend you use. You can use it, but as you can see with mine, it broke early on when playing. I was just aiming down my sights, scoping it on, on a target downrange, and it simply just cracked, and uh, now I just use the bipod for display purposes. You can unscrew it easily. The barrel is, I mean, is I'm going to say about almost three feet long. I uh, painted the orange tip because the sniper obviously doesn't want to be seen by his target. And the speed loader is a standard, it comes with a standard speed loader. Simply press the button, comes up. Plunger, good. And you can simply, and it comes with this cool little piece here that you, that it works for the L96 mag. You just push it on, it wraps over, locks on this little piece. And it's good. Make sure not to lose this piece. I've actually been thinking about painting this little piece yellow so I never lose it. Well, thank you for watching YouTube, and we'll see you next time.